all right guys welcome back out here at bill bags beautiful day beautiful start um the water's a bit murky i am fishing the keen tides right now it's high tide so the water is higher than usual stay tuned let's see what we catch the bait we're using today is frozen ballyhoo and i'm also going to use this uh, tiny little jack all right guys last time i was out here um i had at least like four cutoffs so now i'm ready with wire again let's see what happens Ah, oh, gotta be kidding me. Yeah. Ah, oh. oh, not what I want, not what I want, not what I want. Leather jacket, guys. Gotta be very, very careful with these fish. If they prick you with one of their fins, they'll inject uh, some venom in you. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, it's incredible how these little mangroves fight. So little, but they fight so hard. Nice little mangrove. Let's let them go. Fish on. I don't even know what I had on this rod, to be honest with you. Let's see what it is. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. The hook pulled. No. No. Pulled right at the end. Oof. All right, guys, we're hooked up. Let's see what it is. Hopefully, this time I don't lose it. Good thing. One of his shark. That's what it was. Uh, the little shark. Must have got him right in the corner. If not, he cut me off. Yeah, you can see it right in the corner. Hey little buddy, take him home and uh, do a catch and cook, huh? All right. All right guys, going to attempt to fillet this bonnet head. Never done a shark. Just gonna start cutting right here, hopefully. Yeah, looks about good. Damn, the meat is white. That's cool. Cut off the fins. has a weird smell, like really bad. I know sharks pee through their skin. All right guys, now we're gonna get to the cooking part. Let's go ahead and season it. I'm gonna use New Orleans Cajun seasoning. A lot of people soak the, the sharks in milk, but I wanna go ahead and treat it just like a snapper, like a mutton snapper, a mangrove snapper just to get the real taste. I'm probably gonna season one filet and then the other half of the filet. I didn't do the, the entire thing. The smell was so bad. I put it right there with barracuda or maybe worse. Um, so let's go ahead and find out. Here's the filet. Let's go ahead and season it. 
<laughs> that was a little bit too much. Might need it though. All right, guys. Uh, went a little bit overboard, but uh, let's just do one side then. Uh, that's the flare right there. And then I have another one that's completely fine. I mean, it has a little bit of seasoning on it, but it should be fine. Just to do a taste test, see what happens. All right, let's go ahead and fire this up. Bingo, got some oil in a pan, set it on high, place it on top, wait till the oil gets hot, and then we'll toss it in there. All right, let's go ahead and check. Yep, good to go. And then this one has no seasoning on it. Let it cook a couple of minutes on each side. It should be good. Go ahead and flip it over. Looks good. Oh. Check it out guys. Looks really good so far. Time for the taste test. So this is the one with the seasoning and this is the one without. Alright guys, moment of truth. This is the one without seasoning first. Small bite. Look at that. Looks real good. Not bad at all. It actually tastes real good. Let's get a bigger piece. Alright, now we're going to try a bigger piece. This is without seasoning. I like it, not bad at all. All right, and now for the seasoning. Oh, this is a big chunk. Nice white meat, check that out. All right, here we go. Not bad at all. Now I believe people when they say that Bonnethead Shark is really good. Would I do it again though? Uh, I really like sharks and um, it was kind of a mission to, to fillet the shark. Most likely I'll probably let him go. And the smell at the beginning, you know after you cook it, I don't, it doesn't smell bad. But during the filleting part of the, of the shark, it was horrible. Really, really bad smell. So as always, thank you guys for watching.